So I don't want to waste any time. I want to get right into the video. So very first thing that you're going to need is you are going to need a verified Google My Business. You're also going to need a verified and or phone verified YouTube account. They work best. So after that, you're going to need a plethora or at least 10 videos to get started. You can use tools to spin them or create them, make them separate. But let's just start with one so you can get the hang of it. Now, there is going to need to be some prep. The prep is going to be this because these are the details you're going to add into your videos. Now, I've gone ahead and I've made a quick little notation here. You're going to want to get your description from your GMB or something related to the keyword that you're trying to target. Now, a lot of times people are going to create video citations when they create or they on their websites, they're moving into new locations and they're building out new pages, or maybe you have a new service and then you're creating pages. It's think of it as another citation source. That's an authority citation like Yelp or Manta or Bing or Foursquare or you know, any of those, this is another authority citation. It needs to be built just like the rest. So you're going to need at least a hundred word description to put into your description box for YouTube. Now, the very first sentence matters the most. This needs to contain the exact keyword and the exact phrase that you're going to be putting into the SERP. All right. So a hundred word article or a hundred word description with the first sentence being the most important. After that, you need the title. This is going to be a keyword, but and a keyword phrase, but not any keyword phrase. You need to make sure that the keyword or the keyword phrase that you are trying to target is actually showing a video in the SERP. Meaning, if you're a dentist and I search for teeth uh, white in Houston, is there a video showing up in this search result? Let's take a look. I see that this is an enhancement. It's showing a map pack. But if I scroll down, I don't see videos. All right. So that would mean that I do not want to make a video for this particular SERP. Now, SEMrush makes this very easy. If you're utilizing a tool, you can see, does the SERP showcase an enhancement? If it does, create a video around that keyword. So now that we have that step taken care of, we have our 100 words, we have our title, we've taken a look at the SERP to see if a video will rank. Will a video even show up on the first page? This is important because we want to get traffic. The next step is the photo or also known as the thumbnail. I'm going to walk you through step by step over here exactly what you need to do, but make sure your thumbnail is very similar to this. Let me showcase this for you. If you take a look at my digital marketing Las Vegas, all right, I realized that the SERP was showcase, showcasing a, if you take a look at mine, you can tell right off the bat that it says Las Vegas digital marketing keyword with my website and my phone number. Now I should have did this a little better. Phone number huge up top, then the website and then the keyword. Make sure it's blatantly obvious. Call me, call me, call me. So this is a prime example and an example that I want to share. So make your thumbnail something similar to this where it's blatantly obvious for your potential customer. Now after that, you have your, let's go back to the list. You have your photo slash thumbnail. All right. Just like we talked about, you have your description, you have your title, you've looked at your keywords, you've taken a look at the SERP to make sure the video could actually pop up. You have your photo and thumbnail. It's like we just talked about. After that, you need to gather the big five. All right. I went like this, the big five citations. Now the big five citations are going to be as follow. Go and take a look at your Foursquare, your Bing, your Apple, your Manta, and your Yelp listings. Go grab those URLs wherever your primary citations are at. Go and gather up those URLs. So get the URL of the other citations you have. The next step is you need to ha already have, I'm sure you know this, your NAP. That's your name, address, phone number, just like all the other citations. And now we have to get it for the video. Let me give you a an overlook. If you take a look at this right here, see down here, this is the NAP. You're going to put it in the bottom of the video just like this, but not by itself. Let me explain. You're also going to need to grab your G page or your share link. Let me show you where to get that. So if you come over here, all right, to your maps listing, what you can do is you can get this share link here 
but you want to double it up. Maybe also go get a share link from one of your reviews. Let me show you that. So if you scroll down in here, you can also share these links. All right. So if you come over to here, you can also share these links here. All right. So grab some assets from within your GMB and put them in. You can have as many URLs as you want, but these are key elements. You need to get the share link, get one review if you already have it. Also grab your other citations. Now let me walk you through the other steps that you need to take care of. And remember, stick with me. I have some tips for you at the end for how you can set this up for a longer campaign. All right, so stick with me here. Let's go over here. So I have just put in a video, just uploaded a video just to walk you through the process. So remember, title is going to be key. It's going to be look for your keyword. Make sure it shows up in the SERP. All right. So it's going to be keyword. All right. But make sure you're putting your brand and phone. All right. At least put your brand name in there. You don't have to put your phone number. Now up here, the very first sentence, right? This part here needs to contain the same keyword that's up here inside of your title okay make sure it's the same but make sure that inside of here your description put a hundred words in there then down at the bottom you're going to put your five or six citations from the top sites meaning you know when i told you to go gather up your other citations like yelp uh monta and all those you're going to put those right here one two three four five six so citations from the top sites. Then next is going to be your NAP details. That's your name, address, phone number. Underneath that is the review link. Underneath that is your share link from maps. Now there's some other steps I want to walk you through. Now you are set up so far. You have your keyword and brand up here. Let me walk you through the rest. Now, when you upload your thumbnail, the thumbnail's name, all right? Let me show you what I mean. So inside of here, you have your picture. See right here where it's your name? See how I can change this? Change that to the exact same thing that you're targeting, your primary keyword with your brand name. Don't stuff it, just put it exactly what you're gonna name in the video, exact keyword that showed up in the SERP, name it the same thing. Make sure, like we talked about, make sure it's just like this photo over here, right? Make sure it's just like this. Put your phone number first, put the keyword, make sure it's blatantly obvious to any customer. Here's my website, here's my phone number, and here's what I do. Keyword, phone number, business name. Make sense? Hope so. So let's keep going. So that's the, that's the thumbnail part. Now we're gonna talk about, these are tips and tactics. We're gonna talk about these strategies. Playlists play a big part, but we're gonna talk about that in a moment. Wait till the end. So. After this, you're going to come down here and there's more options. Now inside of your tags, obviously you want to put your primary keywords and your brand name. It's not that necessary, but at least put those two brand name keywords and a variation of a keyword. Put that in there. Also put your phone number. If you want to get crazy with it, you can, but that's completely up to you. Now this is, these are also important aspects that you need to do in order to be in the runnings. You have to fill out every detail. So bear with me here. So video language, if you speak English, great. If you speak French, that's French. Whatever you do, language needs to be checked. After that, caption. This has never been aired on TV. Make sure you check that. Next, recording date, put the date. After that, this is a key piece. Just like in this video, as you can take a note here, take the exact address of your business or whatever location you're going to. If you're going into a location, if, if your business is at 923 Dublin Road in Ohio and Dublin is 20 miles away, but you're opening business there, take the actual pin address where it is on maps, take that exact address and put it inside of here. Wherever you're targeting, put the address right here, okay? So after that, you're scrolling down license standard allow embedding yes publish to subscriptions yes category is really irrelevant for you but make it make sense i'm education you're whatever going down the list here now monetization you won't have that video elements it's really irrelevant uh visibility i can't get to that but if that's just gonna be public once the video is published all right once it's published or once it's been all the way upvoted here, right? This is a 10 second video. 
I want you to take this into consideration and I feel that it's very, very helpful and this is the update from the last video citation video that I did, all right? Now, I want you to take a, a look here. This is what is known as video schema. Video schema, if you go and look at the source code, it's looked at a little bit differently. It also gets enhancements within the SERP. When videos have schema on them, you'll notice this on your phone. It'll have little play buttons and Google breaks it down. Google is looking for these enhancements for their mobile users. They're showing a bonus. They're giving you a boost for doing this. It might be temporary. It might only be for this year, but I'm telling you, my friend, please go ahead and add in the schema and this is how you do it uh, all you have to do is put as you can see here it has to start with zero colon zero zero all right it has to and then whatever the keyword is you can make it whatever but use all of your keywords that you're targeting variations or locations whatever that video is about use all the variations and use sentiment like top best whatever's showing in your SERP use those words all right so that's gonna be next is video schema make sure you're adding that in so now we've covered let's recap and then i'll give you some tips so we have our hundred word description with the primary keyword or whatever you're targeting in the title and in the description same keywords you've already looked at the cert meaning you've taken a look at the cert does a video show up for the keyword right this is the keyword i want to target is there a video in the cert all right, just like this. Okay, there's a video showing. Great, this is good to target. The next piece after that is the photo and thumbnail. Phone number, big. Website URL, make it blatantly obvious. Colors that jump out, yellows, reds, oranges, colors that jump and pop. Make sure it's easy to read, especially on a mobile phone. After that, grab the citations for your business. If you're having trouble finding them, let me show you how to do that. What you'll do is you're going to put your business name, like mine is Chris Palmer Marketing. You put it inside of quotes, then you push space, and you put your phone number that you used inside your citations in quotes as well. So let me go ahead and show you. So you see how this is? It's Chris Palmer. You do your, your brand name. So let's do Chris Palmer Marketing in quotes, space. We do quotes again, and we use the phone number that's inside of citations. All right, and then you just look through the list. Grab out the top six or seven. You can use as many as you want, but grab at least the top five. Bing, Yelp, Monta, Foursquare, Apple, right? Grab those, put them into the description. After that, let's go through the rest of the list here. Adding your video schema, your name, address, phone number at the bottom, like in that video I showed you. And make sure you're adding your share link and also add in the share link from a review. Add those in. Now, let's talk about advanced tips tactics that you could be utilizing all right so let's come over here to the drawing board or better yet i have a new tool let's call it's called mindflow all right so let me go ahead and open this up all right so i just want to start a new one here give me one moment bear with me all right so i want you to think of it like this all right, these are little tips, tactics, the techniques that you can add. Think of your playlists like this, it's top level, all right? So what I would do is I would have my location, okay? And then I would also, and remember, you can, there's tools out there that you can make videos with just using photos. You don't even have to show yourself, it's super easy. So make your locations like this, right? So you have your location and then you also have your keyword let's come back over here let's do it this way clear so what i would do is your top level playlists do locations okay and then the next piece what i would do is i would do keywords okay and then inside of there i'd have my videos targeting particular keywords like these are all the keywords that are inside of there but also list your locations like these are videos that are related to actual locations or new locations so that way when you're on your website right if I have my main website let's think of it this way I'll do it another way if I have my main website and let's say that I just launched a new category page for Houston Texas and then underneath that is all my little cities that I want to target, right? Let's say there's like 10 or 20 of them. Corresponding to that, 
right, is Houston, Texas. I now have a playlist on my YouTube channel, my branded YouTube channel, which is my brand, but there's a playlist that's called Houston. And then inside of that is targeting all of those keywords that are related to Houston that I have. So I'm making video citations for each of them. You get what I'm saying? Why would I do this, Chris? Brand relationship, entity building. It's powerful, it's quick, it's helpful. Trust me, try it out, see for yourself. You'll start getting more traffic, clicks. It'll be very, very beneficial. I hope that this has walked you through the process. I hope that this has been helpful. If you have any further questions related to local SEO, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.